ordinances and legislation come to order. Uh, if the clerk will call the roll. Councilor Keene. Councilor Hart. Councilor Raposo. Here. Councilor Simpson. Here. Vice President Perez. Here. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person can make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and deemed acknowledgeable and permissible. Um, anyone sign up for citizen input? No? Okay. Um, item number two on the agenda to approve the minutes of the January 22nd. Motion to approve. Second. There was a motion by Councillor Raposo, seconded by Councillor Sampson. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, item number three, <coughs> there's a proposed ordinance, an amendment uh, to property owners to keep premises free of litter and weeds. We recommend it if, you know, it could be passed through first reading. However, I did have a conversation with Attorney Rumsey, and he said that he um, and another attorney um, that we've hired, along with Mr. Hathaway, are working on a number of ordinances relative to property. And he asked that we hold this off until then. Um, so motion to table. Motion to table would be in order. There's a motion to table by Councilor Sampson. Second. Second by Councilor Raposo. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item number four on the agenda is a communication from the mayor regarding an amendment to the fee schedule with adoption of new fees relative to farmer, brewer, distillery, pouring permits for wine and spirits, as well as all distillery pouring permits. Um, and Mr. Pirano is here to talk to us about these distillery pouring alcohol Welcome, Mr. Pirano. Chris Thank Pirano, you. City Assistant City Planner, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, so the proposal in front of you is necessitated by um, one of the uh, breweries in the city um, applying to both the city and the state for permits to uh, distill and pour their own wine and spirits. Um, we do not have these types of licenses. We have not had these types of licenses issued in the city previously. Um, the proposal from the licensing board is to keep the fee um, equivalent to that of the malt beverage pouring permit, which is $1,200, uh, but also to cap the series of the three at $3,500, which is equivalent to um, an all alcohol permit that a bar or restaurant would pay for. Does anyone have any questions? <coughs> the twelve hundred dollars that yearly? Correct. Okay. And some of these uh, locations in the city, like Troy City and Can Heat, that they make their own um, alcohol, and now they're going to be making their own wine. They should have met my father. He was great <laughs> at that, <laughs> and making their own vodka, um, some and type things of spirits, like that. Yes. Wow. Yep. That's interesting. Councilor Sampson. Yeah, I think they should come down and sample, give us samples so, you know, we know the product is, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, where is it located? The Farmer's Brewery, I'm just curious, is it, uh, do they have a location yet? Are they? It's um, Troy City Brewery. Oh, it's Troy City Brewery. It's Troy City oh, and Can Heat. And Can Heat. Oh, they're fantastic. Okay, no, I was just wondering. That's <laughs> just the name of the... Of the, the, the that type of a license, it's like, called. Oh, it's that's the the farmers brewing, farmer brewer distil distillery. That's the license name. Yes. Oh, I thought that was. It that. allows them to both okay. distill their own alcohol and then serve it on premise. Oh, all right. Okay. Yep. Yep. I came from a family that distilled that stuff in the cellar. Really? Yeah. Well, I think that most people did. They have the best wine. Okay. Do I, I have a motion? Motion to refer um, to council for action. Pardon me. Oh, okay, so we will be referring this probably to legal to write up an ordinance to then come back to us because you don't have an ordinance, do you? Wait a minute, I do see Mr. Rumsey. Um, Mr. Rumsey, would you like to come down, Attorney Rumsey? Sure. I didn't, we tabled uh, the other issue uh, relative to, you know, yeah. the properties. I told them that we had had a conversation about that. But on this distillery, uh, this farmer's brewing, Distillery, um, 
do you have, have you completed an ordinance for this? No. Um, more than happy to do it. I mean, okay. I knew that was going to be discussed today, but I didn't know that you wanted an ordinance today. I'd be happy to get it to you as soon as possible. No, it doesn't make a difference. I mean, we'll, we'll wait for it. We just wanted to talk about it and see if, in fact, we wanted to add these two to the list of licenses and what the price would be. No, I, I've looked at the, the prices recommended. I mean, I, I'm, I think it makes sense to go ahead and approve. I, I think what you're looking for is the approval to have the fees, correct? Correct. Um, but do we don't have that name in the four of a licensing board? There's restaurant, all the alcohol, there's restaurant, beer and wine, uh, all clubs. If it's a vet's club, you know, all the prices, uh, we have, everyone has a copy of the list. Of it, but we don't have that particular name of a farmer brewing distillery pouring permit, a license for that or a license for all distillery pouring. Do we need to put that in ordinance, what the name of that license would be? It would make sense, though, you'd be quick. I mean... What is submitted right here? I'm not. I'm not seeing. There are two new ones that they want to so institute. So we the uh, the fee schedule that we have in the office. Okay. I'll put this in the form of an ordinance that make it that we can get it approved immediately. Okay. But I mean, I, I've looked at the fees and I've, I've spoken with Mr. Perano and. You know, his rationale makes a lot of sense. I don't have a problem with it. We just put it in the right form to get it passed to make sense to me. That's fine. So we can uh, make so a motion. Motion to refer to Corporation Council for the establishment of an ordinance. Second. Is there a second? All in favor? Aye. 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 And when you have it done, let us know. I hope to have meetings every Tuesday before a council meeting or every other Tuesday so we can move things along. So right. when you have it, Attorney Rumsey, if you could let us know. And I'll let you know as well when uh, we're very close to the property maintenance ordinance, which is going to change a lot of things. Right. That include, you know, graffiti, things of that nature, as well as the... Uh, Council of Reposal own. likes to hear that. Yes. <laughs> Amen. So, we're working on it. Yeah, Thank I you. did say that we had had a conversation and there was a number of ordinances coming down relative to that, so... Um, is, is now... I don't know if it's an appropriate time to talk about 22F. I just want to make sure that the Ordinance Committee is aware of uh, 22F. Uh, it wasn't on the agenda, so there'd be an open meeting law violation to talk about 22F. All right, it's just if about it's adoption of fees. Not on the agenda. And so it's somewhat related to what's on the agenda. But uh, I guess we can... 22F allows departments to um, instill can, their own fees without yeah. coming to city council for everything. Okay, we can put that on the next... Yeah. Um, I'll put that on the next agenda, and we can discuss it then. Great. If we discuss it now, it wasn't on the agenda, so anybody that... I just meant in relation in. to the, 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 the fees, fees for the liquor. Right. Mm -hmm. it, we, so that's the only reason I brought up because it is related to okay. some other agenda, but we'll go in depth at another time. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure. Appreciate thank it. You. There is nothing else on <coughs> the agenda. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We could have.